makeup on right now I just have my foundation and my eyebrows done and some concealer on my lids and that's about it because today I am doing an eyebrow tutorial for you super simple this is going to be a really quick video I'm not too into the Instagram brows I think they look really good on other people but on me it just looks weird my brows have always been very full all throughout my eyebrow so and I just like more of the natural look I know that it doesn't look super natural because they're so dark and my hair is so blonde but this is natural for me pretty much I fill it out a little bit but I don't do anything drastic I always like the way they look I get compliments on them a lot so I guess I'm doing something okay and before I forget I am doing a Q&A this week and I need more questions. I posted on my Instagram, but I didn't get that much feedback on there because I know a lot of my loyal subscribers don't have Instagram or don't get on Instagram very often. Please, if you have any questions for me for my Q&A, I will be posting the Q&A on Thursday. So I need my questions all by Wednesday. Yes. Wednesday. So if you have any questions, you can either go on Instagram and look for my post about the Q&A or just comment down below all of your questions and I will try. I'm probably not going to get that many questions, so I'm sure I can answer all of your questions. Ask away. I don't care what you ask. Just ask anything. Nothing creepy, <laughs> but yeah. I want you guys to get to know me a little better, you know. Some of you are super loyal to me and are always asking me questions, so I want to be able to answer those for you. So, yeah. So thanks for watching and keep watching to see how I got these bad boys. Okay, so as you can see, I already did this eye. Now I'm going to zoom in so you can see how I do this eye. And it's a really simple process, super quick. Not difficult at all. First, I'm going to tell you what I use. Today, I'm using just this regular eyebrow brush. It's the angled brush, um, and it has the spoolie on the end. For my brow gel, I will be using the, the MAC Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream. And this is in deep dark, and it looks like this. Right now, this is my Holy Grail eyebrow product. If you are looking for something a little cheaper, they have my other favorite is the Milani Stay Put Brow Color. I use the dark brown in this one. That one's really good. And then if you don't like a dip brow, like if you don't like the gel, I really like this Koki one. Koki, I can never pronounce this brand, but um, it's just a stick. It comes with the spoolie and it's just a regular, you know, like that. And I really like this as well, and you can find this at Walmart if you're in the U.S. So yeah, I'm going to be using my MAC Brow Gel today. Okay, so first, I just brush through my brow. There's no place on earth I would rather be. Now, my eyebrows already have a pretty decent shape, and they're uh, semi-full. So pretty much the only thing I do is add a little bit of shape to it and also fill in a lot of the um, more thin areas of it. So I'm starting at the bottom and lightly going through. Yeah. Through the whole brow process, I use a very light hand. You don't want to press down too much. And then just follow it through in the tail. And if it's not long enough, just you can kind of flick it a little bit to add just a little bit more and more of a pointed edge. Just going to go over that one more time. Now that I have more product on my brush, I'm going to the top line, top, or top of the eyebrow, and doing the same thing very lightly and then what I do is my brow kind of has its arch right there it goes up a little more 
So I follow that, but then I give it a little bit of an extra point like that and then connect and then just bring down throughout the brow. And if you have a different shape than this, it will obviously go differently, but just outline however you want your shape to be. Okay, now I'm not going to dip this again. I'm just using the excess from the brush and going under in the front and very lightly making strokes. And then I will take the spoolie and brush upwards to go with the hairs, the way that the hairs are growing. of upwards into the side and then I take still I don't dip the brush again I just take the excess and lightly go on the top because there is even less product now and then I just kind of brush the excess product throughout And at the front, I don't like the super gradient look. Um, I like it pretty even, maybe a tiny bit lighter on the inside. So I do put the brush through here, but there's hardly any product left, so it's not making it too dark. And I just take the flat side like this. It's the perfect size, obviously. Okay. And then I just brush through that a little more to kind of to kind of blend it in a little better. Okay, and now that they are how I like them, and they're not exactly even, but they're not really supposed to be. It's okay if they're not perfect. Close enough. So now I'm going to take my Koki Brow Mascara. I actually like the clear version of this better, but I can't find it, so I'm going in with the brown color and just lightly brushing this into my brows. Very, very lightly because you don't want too much product in there or it will definitely look cakey. Now to conceal them, I use, I just take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I put a little bit on my hand, like so. And you can take any flat brush like this. I'm using my Vasanti Eyeshadow 2 brush and I just get a little bit of the concealer on my brush and then kind of wipe any excess off. doing my eyeshadow I will bring the concealer down um, to prime the eye and I am doing I'm about to film a <laughs> eyeshadow tutorial so I will go ahead and bring this down and I added more oh, I added too much but that's okay <laughs> I am done with my 
my brows. As you can see, I do not go through a lengthy process at all. I just keep it very simple. I don't do anything crazy. I don't like the whole Instagram brow thing. I like it, just not on me. Like, it looks nice. It's just my eyebrows have always been pretty full all throughout, and I've always liked that look. So I don't really like the super thin part at the beginning. I just... This is how I like to do my brows, so yeah. I feel like it's easy. If you are having problems with it, just take your time, have patience. You will eventually get used to it, I promise. And the three products that I mentioned are my absolute favorites when it comes to brows, and I feel like they are super easy to use, and I can just always rely on them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching, and slay those brows, girl.